She comes by her little rats. Rats? Her little rat kids. Cutest rats you've ever yeah. seen. And this one says, Pops, she has a donut for me. It's got a bite taken out of it. Why does my donut have a bite taken out of it, kid? So you got hungry on the way. Oh. Hello, little man. Look at Papa. Hello, dude. Cabbage. Over here. Look at Cabbage Papa. patch. Look here. Look at Papa. He stays too focused on what Carter's doing. Oh, I know it, yeah. <laughs> oh, God. My gosh. Don't bump your head. <laughs> oh, she didn't do it that time. Oh, you did. <laughs> Oh, all right. I should have said that. She hit the table, I think. Oh. No, I think she hit the basket. Oh. Here. I, I've seen ladies with leopard shorts and stuff, but never with, hold your leg up again, with boots. <laughs> it's raining outside. I don't want my feet to get wet. Oh, yeah. The, the leopard. The leopard shorts. That's what I'm talking about. You I've got leopard shorts and camo boots. All right. Cowgirl. This is what we call redneck. <laughs> it's redneck. Hillbilly. Hillbilly. <laughs> the little guys are now with the cows. They just now went down and had cubes. And they were here at the barn. Now I guess they're going to get them a drink. I got to go check them out, too. They're with the cows now. They're all here at the barn this morning, all of them together. So they're running with the herd. And there's the cows all down with the goats having some cubes. Goats have already eaten once. Ivan and the goats have already eaten, but now they decided they'll have some cubes too. Let's go, Heidi. Come on, baby. Heidi's taking a swim. That's a good part. And the little guys, they just kind of getting them a drink. But they're running with the herd now, so there's no problems. You gotta worry about mom and them hiding them no more. Let's go, Kippy. Come on, Kip. We took Lex back this morning. It's Monday morning, 24th or whatever it is. Took it back. Got up early. Little guy. Little guy, you know, set the clock at 5.30. We have to leave by 6. He hops right up. It amazes me that he can just hop right up, go to the showers, come back, get dressed, and on the road we go. And he likes to eat breakfast at school. I don't mind fixing him breakfast. He said, no, Papa, I'm eating my friends. I said, okay. And we get him there plenty of time. If we get there a little early, we sit in the parking lot. He don't like to go in too early. But it's a lot of fun, and we have a good... He sleeps most of the way, him and, him and Kippy, in the, very back, in the back seat. You buckle up and go to sleep. And we get there, he wakes up, and you uh, give him a little... Handy wipe, or you call him, please wipe his face off, make sure he's good and awake. And we'll talk for a few minutes. And uh, then he gets to go in. But to me, he shows a lot of a lot of maturity. I think. All right, I'm gonna finish feeding up up here, and I've got my brush. That Pamela sent me. Bree finally brought it to me. I finally got it, Pamela. I'm going to brush Amy with it. All right. Here we go. All right. Put this in here. This is the brush that Pamela sent me. That was a gift for a while back. Now, uh, Amy plays with that a little bit, and nibbles kind of licks on it. But And the little thing I got from uh, Karen here, I put here. You can't always see it, but it's horses. It says, welcome, and uh, little hooks. This brush fits in there good and snug, good and snug. And I think I'll probably hang the lead rope underneath that. And snap that down, it's there. It's a good brush for Amy. Pamela, Pamela raised horses. Sent me some pictures, oh yeah, she likes that. Some pictures of horses she bred. Beautiful horses. Yeah, baby, I like that, don't you? She said the uh, other brush I've been using, I share it with her and, and Ivan. They said that's not what she should be having. So she sent me this one. And Breezy kept it forever because she sent it to, to Breezy. 
Well, you know, I send this stuff to girls. I'm sorry, Amy, I didn't mean to say it in front of you. <laughs> I pick on them all the time right about these girls. And uh, what do we do without them? You know? What do we do without them? That's my baby. What we do without her? Gigi's back, and I'm glad to have her back. It was, you know, during the mornings, I'm busy. I, I, I truly am. And uh, I don't have no problems in the mornings or even the afternoons. But at night, we usually watch TV together. That's when I miss her the most. <laughs> now, I was, I was in charge of that kitchen during the mornings. I didn't have to ask, or I didn't have to clean up if I wanted to. Bree comes out, oh, she's gonna see it. I said, oh, she ain't gonna see nothing. I'll have it clean before she gets back. <laughs> we might as well just go on. You're not gonna eat with her. Your food's out there, you've already eat. They eat theirs real fast. Then they try to run in here and see if they can eat with Amy. Well, Amy likes them. She don't have a problem with them. She is not gonna share her feed with them. No. Not gonna share her feed with them. Look at them. There it is. Both of them. Just a pain in the butts, both of them. You know, someone says, why, why do you keep them? Well, I keep them in, in case I was to need one of them or something. If I needed, if I needed, and I don't see the need, but if I did want to breed my mama goats and get babies, then I'd rather know what I'm breeding them to. And I know these boys. I know their daddy. You know, old big boy. And I knew their mom. And in saying that, that's why I keep these two. And a time may come that I may rehome them to someone who needs a good, good sire for their herd. I don't plan on it. I don't plan on it. But you know, I could turn them in, like I told y'all before, I could turn them in those girl goats. There's nine mamas out there, or old enough to be mamas. And five months from now, we're gonna have a, <laughs> a ton of babies out there running and playing. And that, they're so cute. But also, it comes a lot of responsibility with them. Uh, Rehoming if you can, if you can't, they gotta go to market. So there you go, you see. And nobody wants to see that happen, but sometimes farm life is not all, it's not all fun, folks. It's fun. I love it. Wouldn't have it no other way. But sometimes you got to take things to market. And that would just be a, an example. If we bred all those mamas, uh, there's nine, they would probably have at least nine babies, maybe 15, who knows. And half of them, you about to count on to be boys. Now, two or three might be herd sire prospects. Out of the better, better mamas. The bigger, stouter looking mamas and stuff. They they usually produce the best, the best looking boys. But there's some mothers that's, that have to go to market. Because you're not gonna find enough homes around here for all of them. You know, Amy. Uh, the lady that raised Buddy and a couple of others I, over the years is awesome, but she can't raise that many goats. <laughs> she She's awesome, but she, she can't do it. Her husband would be mad at her and me both. So that's the thing I, you face when you say, okay, I'm going to start breeding. Unless you plan on going to market, you better not. Amy's eating good. She's do, Amy's doing good. You know, she still has the limp. It's, you know, everybody says it's going to be a long-term thing. And uh, I'm prepared to stick with her, keep the medications on her, whatever she needs, the, the little boots now and then to kind of, if she needs them. Uh, I'll feed her every bite she needs to eat right here. She ain't got to wander all out across them pastures trying to find food and walk forever to get a drink of water. She's right here. I'm sitting on her water tank right now. 
So she's got a pretty good deal going here. We're going to stick it out with her. <laughs> Kippy, what are you doing, son? Good boy. Come on, Kip. Let's go. Kippy, let's go. Looks like he's stuck. Is he stuck, Heidi? Is Kippy stuck? <laughs> I asked Heidi, is he stuck? And she's turning around and just stares at him. <laughs> no, he wasn't stuck. He come out, took off somewhere else. Ain't went under the barn this time. This no telling. I'm used to trying to think. Can I get on top of this roll of hay? Duke can. Hey, rooster. Duke can. I don't know if he can or not. I had no more set it down there and drove out there with my tractor, and Duke come running across there and right up on top. What's wrong, Prince? What's wrong, son? <laughs> oh, fine. Thank you so much. I needed that. I'll tell you a story one time. One day I'll tell you all a story about a rooster Kim had. <laughs> she had a, a killer rooster. He was a bad dude. Yeah, she gives it to me to give away torture somebody else <laughs> yeah it's funny I forget his name big old red rooster I got a couple of projects this this week I'm gonna pick those pairs I count them you know we had a so such so dry this year uh, got very few pairs I think there's about 12 of them out there on both those trees. 12. If I was trying to make a living with pears, folks, wouldn't have happened. Cuz told me his little pear tree had a lot of pears, but he never developed. He got little bitty knots. That's all there ever was. Just little bitty things. So, uh, that's one of my projects this week is to go out and pick them. I've got those uh, pickers people sent me. And uh, I can reach up probably all the way and get them. And then one day or one night, I'll go in and I'll make a pair of preserves out of those 12, whatever it is, is on there. And uh, my other project, is the weather's right, is rainy this morning. Not raining, but just wet and cloudy. It's clearing out. Is to work on those bees out there, getting those boxes opened up and taking those boxes of honey. Hopefully there's honey in there. Take them out. That's, that's my project. All right. All right, dude. She's still eating. Daniel cut some shrubs uh, yesterday evening and drug them out there. You see the cows and all the goats are checking them out and nibbling on some of them. I see Johnny kind of almost get on behind us roll the hay here. <laughs> If I go out there, Johnny got a ride. Not going out there right now. And the little the little calves are staying with the herd now. They don't have to be hidden. They hang with the herd. Uh, you don't have it? Look look in uh, that little bag down there. Dustin's gonna hang this little swing. I can't do it above my head. And he's tall enough, he's almost looking down on him. <laughs> Good girl, you need these shoes? Hi, Hi, you need your shoes? Hi, Hi. I'll bring them to you in a minute, okay? How tall are you, Dust? Six four. Six four. He's the tallest one in our family. Probably gets that from your grandpa. Yeah, maybe so. The ger uh, German man. 
Yeah. Stop it, YouTube. Yeah, my grandpa was a big man, big German man, German descent. Look how tall Nanny was. Yeah, Nanny was tall. <laughs> Hooks. Yeah. Save this job for him. Cota Bear, come here. Coco. Come back over here. Look. Look at these. Hey, my baby girl with her hair all over her head. If he'll hold you, 240 pounds. 240 little pounds. pounds. He'll hold you. He'll hold these little girls. <laughs> try it, baby girl. Come try it. You need to put it a little bit lower. Carly, look. Lay in it like this. Coda, don't you think about it. Don't go outside, Coda Bear. You know what you do. You escape and eat the leaves. Here you go, Carly Jack. You escape and eat the leaves. Go ahead, kick it on. All right, I'll go. Love you, Love bud. You, baby. Thanks Thank so you. much. Be careful going to work. Be careful, you hit yourself with it. Here, I want to show you something. Go to bear! I'm around here. Lay on your tummy. Go to bear! Swing on your tummy, watch. Pick your feet up. Woo! Pick your feet up, baby. Yeah, they have more fun like yeah. that.